What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jam at Full Grip Games. Got a fun match for you here today. I've got my Pikachu and Zekrom Tag Team GX deck against JW Crewall with his Arcanine deck. Told me this deck is busted. He thinks his list is really good. So we're going to give it a shot here and see what his Arcanine deck can do against my favorite deck, in Unbroken Bonds standard format, Pikachu and Zekrom Tag Team GX. Now, our K9 does have a couple of cool attacks. His first attack for three fire energy does 120 damage and accelerates two fire energy from the discard pile onto one of your bench Pokemon. And then its second attack does 190 and deals 50 damage to the Arcanine itself. The major issue I was having with the deck is that it could be inconsistent setting up and requires a lot of cards. Um, so I wasn't sure what the best in, uh, engine was going to be, whether it's Salazzle or maybe Jirachi. It looks like JW is starting out with his Heat Factory here. Gonna allow him to draw three cards. And he does have a skateboard in the deck, which is kind of pointing to the fact that he might be playing the Jirachi engine in his list, which is something that I thought would probably be the best way to play the RK9 deck myself. I tried it with the Salazzle engine, but it just wasn't very consistent and seemed like it was required just way too much setup getting multiple stage ones into play. The Jirachi, though, could be good. We see JW's got Fire Crystal and a turn one welder onto his Growlithe, which is very strong for him because he'll be able to get potentially a turn two 190 or maybe even uh, just a turn two... 120 and accelerate two fire energies out of the discard pile. Either one would be very good for him. I definitely want to get an explosive start here. We just start with three lilies in my opening hand, so that's good. We've also got electromagnetic radar and ultra ball, so I am sure to be able to find some Pokemon here, but I would really like to find a lightning energy. Tapu Koko GX, not exactly who we are looking for here. So I think I'm going to Ultra Ball away Lillian Tapu Koko and see what we got in the deck. We do have Tapu Koko, Prism Star, and we got one to Dene GX as well. We'll just grab ourselves a Pikachu and Zekrom. And then I could Electromagnetic these away, but I'm not going to. I want to wait and get, sure enough, yep, there's some Lightning Energy. So that is kind of what we were hoping to find. I can Ultra Ball or, you know, Electromagnetic whatever. For Zeraora and probably the Dedene. Yep. And then we are going to Ultra Ball. Burn this hand down a little bit more. I don't actually, it doesn't actually matter what I'm getting rid of because we're going to use Dedene GX this turn. We'll get the Tapu Koko Prism Star. And we've got this, we've got that. We're going to be able to dance the Ancients and get two energy into play. Throw one of those energy up onto my, I think. No, I need energy, energy switch. So we'll go here and just throw that onto the Pikachu and Zekrom. Choice band there. Did a change for six new cards. And we've got multi-switch and energy. So I do have the turn one full blitz let loose, which is very good. We are going to retreat into our Pikachu and Zekrom, multi-switch up to that thing. <clears throat> then I can also get a backup Pikachu Zekrom for the bench. And choice bandit, let loose JW to a hand of four cards with no Jirachi. And we're gonna hope that he just dead draws out of this one. That's it. We even got the Thunder Mountain, uh, which I'll probably use just to eliminate his draw here. And then full blitz. And I'm feeling pretty confident here that I can actually just go all on to the active because I'm guessing that he will not do too much this turn. Kind of thinking that he's going to not be able to not be able to respond. And then I can just tag bolt whoever he has energy on, and Clifford just falls apart. So that, uh, that is what I'm hoping happens. That he may actually just hit me for a huge amount of damage here. I don't know, though. 
And if he really drew super hot off of that let loose, I'm not thinking that he's going to have it like that, though. The worst case scenario is that he hits me for 190 damage, and even then I can still just go tag bolt onto two of his arcanines, right? And he's still in a very compromising situation just on the first turn of the game. He's choosing what to nest ball for. He's probably got a couple of options. He can either nest ball for the Jirachi, or not the Jirachi, yes, the Jirachi, or he can nest ball for his Mew, because he probably he probably has to play Mew in the deck. And if he doesn't play Mew in the deck, I would be very surprised. But retreating into the Jirachi here is showing me he does not have the attack. So he's going to need a couple more things, unless he's also got a switch in that hand. Getting the Nest Ball is very good because he's hoping. I mean, he's probably going for the Mew. That's probably what he needs to go get. Uh, sure enough, it's a Turtonator. So with no Mew in sight, we should be good to go here to just knock out two of his Pokemon. He's got Switch, I could deal 120, he could accelerate onto somebody, but he doesn't have any fires in the discard pile. So we're just A-OK. -okay. And I am perfectly comfortable just hitting, let's see, we got Field Blower. I'm gonna take out that Escape Board over there. Order Pad, see if we can get, I was gonna say just an Energy Switch. Yeah, well, it's fine. Don't need it. I'm just going to tag bolt for knockout and then also take out his Jirachi so that he can't find any consistency cards coming up and he doesn't have an option to retreat for free either. Yeah, we also took away the escape board. So even if he finds a Jirachi here, we are going to be able to kind of eliminate the flow that he had going on and that RK9 totally gone. So he would need to draw very well again off of this top deck situation here. I mean, he'd have to hit like a welder for two and an arcanine and another fire energy, but he's lilying. So we know that no fire energy will be accelerated this turn. Growlithe's got a retreat of two, so he doesn't have an easy way to pivot back into that Jirachi either, meaning that he may just have to wait for the Growlithe to take you know, just to go down in order to promote a Jirachi. So that's kind of a bummer for him. By then, I'm only going to have two prizes remaining. I just have to take two knockouts, find some energy switches, and get the lightning energy off this peak around. I really wish I would have hit one of those order pads earlier to be able to do that, but we do have Cynthia here, so I'm totally fine with this. We'll just burn this hand down a little bit. Play the Electro Power since I'm probably not going to need it. And then Cynthia, we're just looking for some energy switches or some lightning energy. At this point, I honestly do not care. Just lightning energy will be fine. Start to power up a Zara Aura GX. And we could just full blitz for knockout. If I had a lightning energy left in deck, yep, I do. We got two. Can put those right there onto Zara Aura. And hopefully... He does not have the knockout on my Picaron this turn. If he does, I can promote Zara Aura, go down to one prize remaining. But he does need a lot. He needs an Arcanine. He needs, or I guess he could do it with this, right? Discard any amount of fire energy. I guess that is an option. If he does take this knockout here, I can return with a Let Loose knockout, which is really good for me, so that he's not able to stack his hand at all. Looks like he does have the welder here. So he's building up his arcanine. Finally, my damaged Picaram probably biting the dust here, assuming he's got the switch. Assuming he's got the switch. Ah, he's got the escape board. Okay. So he's got that, and he's going to deal that, and he's going to be able to accelerate some energy onto the bench. So that's all really good. But... He has to knock out a benched Pikachu and Zekrom for game, is the thing. Because I'm going down to one prize remaining with a non-tag team GX. So he has to, there's no way he's going to, he cannot Welder and Guzma in the same turn. So we should be good here. 
we should be good, I think. Yeah, I think we just knock out the active. Honestly, Dedenne GX could be my best card <clears throat> for finishing off the game. That or Pikachu and Zekrom, it doesn't really matter. But I like this hand, so... I mean, this hand is good. Because he doesn't have any sort of... Uh, you know, I mean, I, I could just Guzma, so he won't be able to win no matter what here. So we're, we're good to go. We just Plasma Fist. And then that should just be it. And I have Guzma for game on one of his bench Pokemon. And that's it. So I think <clears throat> Arcanine's not bad. It just feels like in the same ballpark as Baby Blacephalon, right? Like you can kind of just let loose it and, and cheese it and make it so that it can't really take the knockouts that it needs to in order to win. JW's asking me if I had Field Blower. If he had even put a Wishful Baton on that Arcanine, I just would have Guzmud up and knocked out something else, and I would have not have played into his Wishful Baton play. And the Arcanine cannot actually take a one-hit KO on the Pikachu and Zekrom. So I think that's probably going to be it unless he's got some insano play here, right? He can Explosive Jet, my Zera Aura. I'm fine with that. He doesn't even take the knockout. Just removes three. And we've got Guzma for game. Let's see if we can do it with some style here. No, no style, no style. It's all good. We have just got Guzma, and we're going to take out the Jirachi there for game. I wanted to be able to Static Shock for, one, for, for 80, but... We we're just going to use Plasma Fist. Good game, JW, and thank you so much for showing off your Arcanine deck. Definitely a unique list. Was scary there. We see if maybe Picaram just wasn't quite so fast, or maybe if he had the Mew on the turn that I tag bolted, there were some things that he could have done to be able to withstand the Picaram aggression. But I think that uh, both Picaram and Charizard kind of narrow the format down. And really hate out a lot of the less aggressive decks just because of how fast they are with Marshadow included. And I think the format will become much more mellow once Ultra Ball is rotated and also once Let Loose Marshadow is rotated. Decks will slow down a lot and I think it will open up to a lot more options there. So thank you so much, JW, for showing us the deck. Very, very cool. And uh, I think that, uh, you know, Arcanine may be a deck that sees some action later on in next year.